Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the open file dialog or file browser dialog. This is my notepad and if I come over here and open, so you can see this dialog and its main purpose is selecting a file. And if I come to my paperless office software Camisha, you can easily come over here and settings and logo. Previously we created this form and now come over here and select. This is open file dialog and if I select same image so you can see the result over here. Now let's go and create something like it and close this stop and over here. Let's put this up and add great button and write it browse or select image or logo and where are you picture box I love you now this is my picture box and let's resize it send to back put it over here select my form and resize it now select my image and set the border style to fixing goal. You must remember I want to change the image of my picture box. So I come down and set the size mode to zoom or stretch. I talked about this property many times before. Now this is picture box one and I want to change the image property of my picture box one. Let's go find open file dialog. This is open file dialog and over here you can see open file dialog. Drag and drop on my form. And uh, this dialog hasn't any interface and come to properties. Over here I have some properties and I can easily change it. The most common is the filter. I'll talk about this one in dedicated video in upcoming tutorial and the title hi let's see its name open file dialog and come over here and write me open file dialog dot show dialog like previous like other dialogues and let's run my application this is the result and high is over here so you must remember you can change this text if you want and now it's time to select for example an image from my images or my koala where are you koala this is my koala after that I must get the selected file and let's set it like this great I must get this file and load it into my picture box firstly we talked about how to load an image into a picture box now let's define fn as file name as a string and write fn equals me open file dialog file name the file name in fact is the selected file by the user or you can get it or you can set the selected file name by user now I want to get the file name and the return value is a string so I can easily use this and assign it to fn now my picture box is picture box one image equals image dot from file if you don't understand how to load image into your picture box from view.net code so you should refer to my previous tutorials and this is from file the from file has two overloads and this is my favorite overload just once the file name the fn is my file name so I can load it like this now let's see the result over here and koala so you can see the koala and this one 
and this one. Now I understood how to select the image by open file dialog and how to load it into my picture box. If I select other types of files, for example, let's select icon. You can see the result and if I select the text file, so you can see this error out of memory. And what happened to my code? Remember, if I come to my paperless office software over here, I limited the file types by this and its filter property of my open file dialog. The user can only select JPG files and you will see never any error on my project. In our project, I didn't do that and user select any type of files. So you can see this error. In upcoming tutorial, I'll show you how to assign a filter to your open file dialog so your user can't select invalid files and prevent these types of errors. Stay with me with great upcoming tutorials. See you soon.